Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is your June love reading. Let's pull some cards from the Lightseer's Tarot and then I will pull some love oracle cards um, and one spirit card. <clears throat> spirit guides, can we please get a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 2024 in Love and Romance? I'm sorry I couldn't get out all the weekly readings. I've been trying to split myself up between tarot and other things, and now I'm just going to focus on tarot. So let's see. Moon. <clears throat> and the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups underneath that. Beautiful. The moon is showing... Well, it is full moon in Sagittarius. Just two days ago, was it? Keeper of the Sacred, the moon, and the Hierophant. I feel like this is very intuitive and spiritual energy, psychic energy. Some of you might be, you know, a tarot reader or super spiritual psychic. Otherwise, in love and romance, this hierophant can represent commitment because it's long held established kind of institutions and the moon is nocturnal energy which is um dreams uh partial illuminations feelings of um deep spiritual kind of intuitive energy it could be isolation depression and things like that too but the hierophant's so spiritual that it's like it brings out that pisces kind of spiritual watery dreamy nighttime nocturnal um, secrets being revealed, things that are hidden in the dark kind of moodiness to it. And look how she's just falling into the water. Like she falls into her emotions, into her sleep, into her subconscious. About what? Eight of Cups, Tower, Eight of Wands. On the bottom, Love, of course it is. Looking underneath that, Knight of Cups. Could be a Gemini, doesn't have to be. But this love situation, the Eight of Cups is showing that you were upset about something. Okay, it led, led to this big fight, the tower, or like something that was shocking, sudden news. And so you, um, the Eight of Wands is high energy though. And here it shows Eight of Cups, you. There's one cup that's sunk and another cup here that instead of having water in it or emotion or whatever, they have something that's burnt. And I liken this to when you, I don't know if that's what this maker of the stack, Chris Ann, intended, but I'm just saying like, because I, I've been doing this lately too, this writing down some kind of um, intention and then burning it. Especially when it comes to getting rid of um, cutting cords with people or bad vibes or whatever. So it's giving that kind of vibe and she's walking off into the sunset or into the sun, sunlight, right? From darkness and then this faith, this hierophant energy, which represents faith, commitment, traditional values. And then so she's walking away from this eight of cups that wasn't fulfilling. It didn't go to wish fulfillment, which is nine. Um, and then there's this tower moment and everything changes. When she walks away from the situation, everything changes suddenly. And there's such wonderful reciprocated energy, such passions. This is somebody who had always had options. I feel like they just were stuck or, or they were in something that kept everybody else away. And now there's all these opportunities coming in with the Eight of Wands. Love, regarding to love, right? Look, Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles is showing juggling, Temperance is healing, okay? After all this like wonderful love energy you're getting from people who see your worth. And then to the Ten of Cups, what else do we have? What else do we have? This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Scorpio? What other messages are there for Scorpio, please, Spirit Guides? For June, in love. What other messages are there for Scorpio in June for love? What other messages are there for Scorpio in June for love? Okay, justice. So things working out fairly for everybody involved, however that is. Okay, this is karma. 
um, karmic justice, okay, a decision being made. This speaks to truth, and it speaks to custody, legal matters, divorce, marriage, things like that. And then the fool, starting over fresh, clean slate, new beginning. You got two major arcanas. So justice card can also come up when it's a spiritual lesson, when you have this with somebody, a relationship that, that ends and it isn't fulfilling and it doesn't manifest to what you dreamt or hoped. And the Justice card comes up lately for me, like when I see a spiritual lesson that's learnt by two people. Like for some reason they had to get together and now it's showing that it's it's the, the karma's done, right? The karma's burnt, the cords are cut, and now it's start for time for a new slate, a fresh start, clean slate, right? Even on for this Knight of Wands, inspired, passionate energy. All right, so can you tell us about this love situation over here, please, spirit guides? Like, or, or what is any other messages for June for love? We see the new beginning with the full card. <clears throat> Rest, taking a break, a trip, a vacation. Yeah, a vacation, taking a trip. The world card. Needing to heal. Kind of feeling maybe something bummed out a, a bit about this. And Knight of Swords, somebody coming in. I feel like somebody's watching you while you're healing and they want to step in. Okay? They've been waiting. Let's just pull Love Oracle cards to clarify. This is the Romance Angels. What love messages are there, please, Spirit Guides, for Scorpio, for June in love? What love messages are, are there for Scorpio? Thank you. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Oh, no. Finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. This could be the one. And you've already met the romantic partner you seek. This is sad. Worth waiting for. I'm getting sad now. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Because it's saying here, okay, I feel like Spirit is saying to you that they would like for you to keep trying. Because sometimes Spirit Realm sees things that the people, we we regular people do not see, right? We we are we have options. We have things we like and don't like, whatever. We don't see everything that's going to happen later on. And I've been noticing, too, that sometimes there are spirit guides or ancestors that really want you to link up with people. Like, it's they are making these kind of arranged marriages in the spirit realm, okay? Believe it or not, or if you want to believe that or not, whatever. Where they will push harder for a relationship where you don't understand why you keep being pulled back and drawn to someone. Because they see something that we don't see. Right. And so it feels like that kind of energy. Give your relationship a chance and finances are a factor. So maybe money is a big thing for you. Maybe finances are a factor with this person and it's not working out. You don't see that there's hope for the future or something or, you know, you want something else. Engagement and deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask. Your love life is ascending. It's saying that like if you're trying to start something new with someone else and you engagement, it goes to like that kind of level of commitment. Deception is saying that you maybe you're lying to yourself and that you, everybody's wearing masks here, pretending that they've moved on or done something else or it, everything is fine. Put it this way. The tarot is saying you need to heal and that this new opportunity comes in. You walked away from something. Spirit is saying give your relationship a chance for some reason. Okay, you walked away. Spirit's saying give your relationship because they're already the romantic partner you seek. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, calling in your soulmate. It's, it's not never ending. I'll, I'll, I'll do one more. Any other messages, please, for Scorpio? We'll just end with this, this deck with this card. Any other messages for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio? Any other messages for... There we go. Soulmate again. Yes, this is your soulmate. And you got calling in your soulmate. Safe for you to love once your heart, uh, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And soulmate just means like, and there's pay attention to red flags, all kinds of soulmates. It doesn't mean it's a twin flame or that you have to be with this, it's saying this could be the one. Like they do have most of the things you want in someone. But for some reason, right, there has been a separation and someone else wants to come in. 
or or you found out something and the issues i see here is deception finances a factor and some big revelation something that was hidden that comes to light that you know is shocking and sudden changes changes everything so let's see what else we have Deception can speak to a whole bunch of things. It's like if it's a new relationship, it could be as easy as just pretending that everything's perfect to, you know, cheating and lying. All right. This is Whispers of Love. Spirit Guides, can we get an Oracle love message? Okay, thanks. Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Have patience. Love is patient and kind. Always take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. Okay. And I'm going to finish this with a um, love, uh, sorry, a goddess deck. Because those are very straightforward. I'm going to just leave it at that. Feels very, I don't know, vague. Tanit pleasure. There you go. This is talking about sexual pleasure is important. It feels good to feel good. And we'll talk about that in a second. And on the bottom, we've got Yasigi Live Out Loud. Don't play it small. Speak up. All right. They're really short. So we'll go to 11 with Goddess Tanit. 11. And she's the goddess of pleasure. Um, we'll put this stone there, crystal rose quartz heart, quartz heart. Let's see. It's a goddess of pleasure from Tunisia. Uh, temple is conjurers, elements, air. Tanit was the goddess of the stars in ancient Carthage. Today, all the way over in Ibiza, they still have pleasure filled full moon, midnight table dancing parties in her name. Tanit's guidance, you are thirsty for more pleasure. You can't thrive when life feels dry. You are made of laughter and stardust, not sawdust. Pleasure is your birthright, a gift from the universe. Embodiment, how much juicy pleasure can you stand? Turn up the pleasure principle. You secretly feel that you don't deserve it, but pleasure is a healing and manifesting force. Laughing, loving, and orgasmic joy is holy. Hold your hands over your reproductive area and say aloud, I deserve pleasure. Goddess Declaration, it feels good to feel good. Thank you, Goddess Tanit. Let's go to number 31. Yasigi. Goddess of Living Out Loud. Dogon Mali. Temple Griots, Element Water. Yasigi has the reputation of being a free-spirited party goddess. For the Dogon people of Mali, she was the very first Yasin. Yasins are women empowered to participate in the masked dances. Her guidance, express yourself. You have something to say. Share your voice and magic. Express your you-ness. Embodiment, the way you express yourself won't make everyone happy. That's okay. You're not meant to. Living out loud and self-expression look different for everyone. For outgoing extroverts, self-expression may mean dancing on tables and screaming your points of view. Introverts may speak out in other ways and save the louder parts of their personalities for loved ones. Goddess declaration, I am free to express myself fully. Thank you, goddesses. I'm going to pull one deck because I got the image in my head. So I just want to give you that card as well. This is the inner goddess. Love your inner goddess oracle cards by Alana Fairchild. We'll just end with this one for real, for real this time. Okay, because we're at 13. That's not bad. If I can make 15 minute videos would be ideal. 10 minutes would be even better. All right, what do we have here? Final card, please, spirit guides. Final card for Scorpio for June in love and romance. Final card for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know in June for love and romance? Final card. Thank you so much. Final card. Final card for Scorpio for June in love and romance. What message is there for Scorpio for June? Ugh, that's two. I'll show you these, but I'm not going to take them, okay? You can Google them and you can look up the messages yourself if it resonates. Shaman of Skulls, number 34. And then Wild and Free, number one. Gypsy, number three, and Damsel, wait, Damselfly brings direction, number six. I'm going to put those away. I was holding this upside down. Okay. So we're going to go to these. Um, elk Medicine Woman, On Your Own Terms, 
and Daughter of the Sacred Heart. The only thing is these are really long, so I'm going to have to shuffle again for one card, okay? Because they're pages each. Spirit guys, can we get one message, please, for Scorpio? One message for Scorpio. There we go. Thank you, Gypsy. Blame my Gypsy soul. No, oh, that's so Scorpio. It's beautiful. All right, and then on the bottom we've got Rock star, I am a million different things at a million different times. I am me, I am me with no apologies. Put that like that. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there. Number three, Gypsy. Oh, it's not that long, but it's not that short. Okay, so we'll put the crystal there. And it says... You are encouraged to say yes to new opportunities and adventures, ideas, and connections, especially the ones that fill your heart with a sense of excitement. Perhaps just before your mind begins to dwell on doubts and concerns, trying to talk you out of something before you even give it a chance, you can handle the unfamiliar better than most. Once you get your bearings, you'll find a way to thrive to enjoy what you discover and experience. Let the yearning of your soul to explore the new and exciting inspire you. The unfamiliar and the unknown hold great blessings for you. Open yourself up to new horizons. And it says spiritual guidance. There's wanderlust in your soul, that heart quest for new worlds and amazing experiences. You're supposed to feel this way. You have a gypsy soul that will always seek out something new and different. This is just how your life is meant to be, a divine adventure. And there is an adventure that is meant just for you. Places to see, people to meet, experiences to have. You are meant to go on a journey inside of yourself and out in the world. You are meant to explore a world bigger than the one you currently know. It is going to happen. Trust in divine timing. Be open to what life has in store for you. Maybe you're a little afraid and wonder if you're brave enough. Quick answer, you are brave enough and then some. Maybe you worry that you've missed your chance, but you cannot miss your destiny. It is right here waiting for you and your gypsy soul is going to grow and fulfill even more of the purpose for which you were born. And then, speaking to that calling, we've got Rockstar. So we're going to move this over here. You may have a subconscious fear of being judged or becoming the target of jealousy that causes you to shy away from the limelight. You may mistakenly believe that being in the spotlight means you are supposed to be perfect or better than everyone else. There is a higher purpose in standing apart from the crowd and being seen. Choose to accept the opportunities that make you more visible to others. Trusting that you will shine your truth and integrity to make it a positive and healing experience for yourself and for others too. Spiritual guidance. There's a light in you that wants and needs to be seen. A side of you that is bold, bright, and unique. Even if it's something different for you or you aren't sure how comfortable you are going to be on the center stage, sometimes there's a higher purpose for you being placed in the spotlight. One purpose can be to develop self-acceptance and self-confidence. Then you can rock your true self without having to tone it down, play it safe, or rein it in. You can become so comfortable in your own skin that you no longer hide your inner divine beauty. Maybe others will then become less afraid to be themselves because you have shown them that being cool is about being cool with who you are. Refusing to be stereotyped by people with insufficient imagination. There's power in the freedom of not fitting in. You, rather than anyone else, get to decide how you want to live your life. Relish it. Be creative with it. You are meant to be free to express yourself authentically and to be seen doing it. So claim your inner rock star and strut your soul stuff in this world. I'm just going to read the sacred ritual for this one because I, I, I love this card. So sacred ritual says, play some music that you can rock around to in your lounge room. In the park, on the beach, in your bedroom, in private, in public, however you feel it. Let yourself express you. Dance the way you want to dance. Extra points if it's not in a music video. Sing if you want. Challenge and love yourself enough to practice being completely you. I do this all the time. I think that's fantastic. This is my new favorite card. I don't even remember this card. All right, that's your reading, Scorpio. Thank you so much. Um, and I'll see you guys for your weeklies. Bye for now.